so i'm just playing the content of that okay so whenever you feel any difficulty then i will explain the concept because okay. my So now I am starting this thing. OK, so whenever you are having any doubt, you can ask fine. This is turn for five processing. Final topic of the unit. So we are writing program. OK, these are the program. In this program, we provide input. It will give us output. It will use. Only RAM but not secondary memory, okay? But not secondary memory. So now we have another concept. It will use RAM and then utilize secondary memory that may be hard disk or uh, pen drive, okay? Or some other devices. So how do we create such program which will take input from user and process the input and later it will be saved into secondary memory. So this type of concept is known as file organization. It can be created, updated and processed by the C program. OK, like database. Then uh, word processing software. PowerPoint. All are stored in secondary memory, so this program are the effort of software engineers which will start from a, a, a means 15 years ago they started writing program and started saving the program and later on slowly slowly it becomes and it is available at this stage <clears throat> these are used for permanent storage and what is permanent storage this is our secondary storage okay of large amount of data. Storage of data in variables and arrays is only temporary. So whenever we are using a variable or arrays, so it is its runtime is up to program. Up to program. Execution, but we want that all the data, whatever we are asking from user must be stored at secondary memory. So how do we perform this task? So data hierarchy before going to this, just try to understand what is data hierarchy. Data is very smallest unit and the last unit is bit. OK, only one space is occupied and the value of bit is either zero or one. Now byte, byte is combination of a bit. Byte is combination of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Total eight bits are there, OK? And used to store a character, a sky character. It may be decimal digit, letter and special symbol. Field, what is field? Field is like name, age, class, etc. So this is field. Name stores similar type of data age stores similar type of data class stores similar type of data like your name is the so this is group of character conveying meaning so this is and you can store your file into csv format nowadays csv is very common comma separated values okay in earlier days of c programming 
the same csv file is known as dat so this is actually data file which holds the data okay which records the data record is group of related field group of related field what is the record number 1 record number 1 is associated with particular name his age and his class so this will become record okay this is field column wise is field and the row entire row is for one particular person becomes record okay and if we combine all the fields all the records it will become file so group of related field relate uh, represented by a struct or a class example in payroll system record for a particular employee that contain his or her identification number name address etc so uh, one record of employee is like of this and it was started this uh, c was started or some other programming language was started as an effort to create or automate the payroll system because that time a large volume of employees are there say 25000 employees are there how do you maintain their register and how do you uh, provide cash to them so better to automate the system based on attendance and target and performance okay so based on these things the salary will be decided or payroll system will give the salary so this gives one example of this is the whole file and the entire thing that judy is written okay so how judy is written it represent the field and uh, this is the database group of related file so group of related record is a file example is payroll file and database is the group group of related files so payroll or uh, personal all other things are there grouped together actually in earlier days database was a file database was a single file nowadays what happened database like employee is a database so employee may be uh, categorized with different different things like uh, department okay level and uh, work performance role all these are relations these are known as relations or tables in earlier days in earlier days before uh, 2000 or even up to 2005 the same table is used and uh, the same table is known as database but nowadays database is combination of different different tables or uh, related tables okay and that's why these related tables are known as relations now here it shows that in this file judy is uh, judy green is uh, stored as a record so what do you mean by judy okay judy is stored in secondary memory now how it is stored so that ju uh, j character j character is like this okay whenever you are searching for ascii character list so it shows that this is the uh, set of character which represent j and this J is combination of different different bits, so this shows one bit. And so this is the hierarchy: one bit, then eight uh, bits, and then a character, and then character form a field. Field forms a many fields forms a record, and many record forms a file. So this is the data hierarchy. So data files record keys are there. identifies the record to facilitate the retrieval of a specific record like you may ask one question select all students whose name start with a okay and 
सर नेम इज इक्वल टू नल so what it will find actually it will find all those record where students are not using their surnames only names are there so this type of things are also there with the record so you can search directly it identifies the record to facilitate something something and sequential file records typically sorted by key okay this is random file and sorted by key means roll number sorted by your roll number your attendance list is sorted by your roll number files and streams so streams okay everything is uh, treated by c as a file c views is file as a sequence of byte each file as a sequence of byte file ends with end of file marker so end of file markers are there we can run the for loop For i equals to zero, i is less than end of file, i plus plus, and then i this will print the record, print percent s comma record i. Okay, so this loop simply says that this loop will work. This loop will read the file until end of file is encountered. stream created when a file is opened okay whenever we are creating a file this is the stream structure of a stream okay so it will read the file and it will provide the output like a stream of input output whatever we are using in printf and scanf so there are different type of streams provides communication channel between files and program so this is our file and this is program okay this is our file and this is a program so it will establish unidirectional communication as well as bidirectional communication but bidirectional communication with a certain degree of security then come to a different file pointer so this uh, we have already learned about file now because file is a dynamic entity it is stored in memory so you want to access stored in memory so to access such thing we need pointer and pointer of file type okay so it will open the file as earlier discussed that bit followed by character character followed by field field followed by record and all the records makes or compose this as a file so what is the file structure before this standard input is the uh, this is std i in okay so this is standard input through keyboard and standard output through screen and standard error through screen so all these you will be um, learning in unix subject also whenever unix will be uh, in your syllabus or in your um, semester then you will learn definitely this thing so just uh, don't avoid it because these commands are very useful and this is actually library functions also now come to file structure so this file is a pointer okay file type structure or file type pointer it will always point to file uh, type of entity file descriptor is an in, uh, is the index into operating system array called the open file table so file descriptor is actually one integer value okay and this integer value upon success it will return positive values okay for success means if file is available then it will return positive value otherwise negative values will be written upon failure fine file control block and this thing you will learn in next semester that is third semester not in second semester as a subject operating system okay 
in operating system process control block will be coming in first unit. But let us try to understand or simulate whenever we are storing anything in memory, it is written in terms of program code, program segment, okay, or code segment, data segment, stack segment, extra segment, etc. So how do we, uh, but these are the entity of primary memory. Now in secondary memory, chunks are there. Inside that chunk, this file control block is stored, okay? So this file control block will, this is what? This is, this provide metadata about file. What is metadata? Metadata like a person's metadata is what is complexion, what is eye color, what is size, okay? This is a uh, metadata for a person, fine? Similarly for file, from which place to which place it is stored and how do we access the file? How many blocks are allocated to that file? That is known as file control block. Now come to files and stream. Read write function is standard library. So there is app get C. This reads one character from a file, okay? And it takes a file pointer as an argument. App get C, this is standard in, means a standard input stream. This function will be standard input stream equivalent to get care function. Put C writes one character to a file, takes file pointer and character and a character to write as an argument. So whenever putting means we are putting to that file here in app get C, we are reading from file reading from file and this is writing into file. This is our file and we are reading from file and this is writing into file. Now it takes a file pointer and a character to write as an argument like this. Put C A comma standard output is equivalent to put character A. OK. Both uh, things are same as versions are uh, modified and enhanced, then it will change to certain thing because it is inbuilt thing. Each and every time we need to write a standard out. OK, there is no meaning of writing this. Why? Because standard out, we know system know that without a standard out, you won't be able to put the character. So that's why they have uh, created a, another function and that is put character. App get S. S for string. OK. Or so this will read a line. OK, whatever line con contains, so it, it will read the entire line. App put S writes line to a file. Whatever uh, write, uh, line you want to write, you can use app put S function. F scan app and F print app is very similar to print F and scan app. OK, but it is. Scanning from file like whatever data we are providing in CSV file, it will be scanned from that or. It will be read and print into that file. OK, scanning means we are writing into file and this is scan and this is print. C imposes no file structure, no notion of record in a file. Programmer must provide file structure. So this is very important thing because if we bind the file to a dedicated structure, then how do we write? So that's why we need to provide our own file structure. Creating a file. So how do we create a file? So this is the file type data file type pointer my pointer. OK, it will point to file. So whenever we are because already told you that it is stored in secondary memory, you need to access it. For this purpose, memory. Management operation is required. Whenever memory mem management operation is there, it is it always involves 
pointer. Okay, so that's why pointer is there. My pointer equals to now it will opening the file. So it is opening the file and what is the name of file we need to provide my pointer. This is my pointer equals to f open my file dot date. Mind it, this is double code and this is the name of file. OK, and then open mode. So there are three open mode read. Write and execute. We commonly deals with read and write only. Execute mode is not often used in C program. <clears throat> Function f open returns a file pointer to file specified. Takes two argument file and open uh, file to open and file open mode. If open fails, null will be written. OK, so this is uh, this file is a descriptor. Also. And if returns null it means it will provide error f printf this is used to print a file okay whenever we want to print a particular file print inside the file like printf except first argument is file pointer to which file we we are going to print and uh, that is that's it about now file end of file. This is also a file pointer. It returns if and of file indicator. No more data to process is set for the specified file. App close will close the file whenever we are opening the file. First thing is we open the file. OK, second thing is we close either we read from file. We write into file and finally we will close the file. So it is very important thing. Close a specified uh, closes a specified file performed automatically when program ends and good practice to close file explicitly. Otherwise one can write or some gar garbage will be there inside that file. Program may process no file, one file or many files. Each file must have a unique name and it should have its own pointer. So this is our open mode. OK, we have already discussed open mode. What are the different open modes we have talked about? Uh, see, this is general read, write and execute. Now here just see what are the different modes. First thing is read means open a file for reading. Second thing is write. Create a file for writing. If a file, if that file is already existing, then discard the current content. Whatever contents are there, it will erase and then overwrite over this file. While append is append and write, there is a difference between append and write. Append opens or create a file for writing at the end of file. It it removes all the data and then write. OK, in this case, if the file is available, then it will start writing from and last line. And this is also known as appending. Then R plus open a file for update. Reading and writing R plus means you can write inside that file W plus. It will create a file for update if the file already exists and discard the current content. You know very well. OK, we are updating the file. OK, we are appending, although it is updating, but writing is done at end of line. So three different modes. Forget about these modes. These are standard modes. OK, we will discuss in Unix operating system when Unix operating system will be in your uh, syllabus, but this time it is it. You must rem remember read, write and append. OK. Read, write and append directly 
and there are one more mode read plus w plus and append plus it will update the file okay it will simply write into file it will simply append into file and it will simply read a file but this write plus read plus and append plus will update the file now this is very simple program to read a file okay how do we read a file so just start with stdio.h and there are different different characters which we want actually it is not for reading it is for writing so first we are going to write into a, a file so first of all we will declare what variable we want to put you can also use structures okay struct record and then it will start writing integer account then um, character name then and this name is of a string type that's why 30 and then double balance okay and then final semicolon and if you want to write it with type def then type def and then this record is record so now you can use this as record type r1 okay and then r1 dot account this is account okay so equals to one two three four etc r1 dot uh, name equals to whatever you want to write okay and then r r1 dot uh, balance so this is uh, means you can convert it into uh, structure or union but uh, in this program we have not converted into a structure or union just trying to use as organic okay organic means or atomic atomic means individual values we are using then come to file type variable and this file type variable is c f p t r this is a file pointer for particular file now this is the standard way you just try to understand this you need not to use this i can write this statement as like forget about this if okay i can write this statement i can replace this statement as c f p t r equals to f open and then the name of file which we want to open clients dot that comma writing mode pm we will open this okay so this is one statement which will open this file if exist or it will return some negative value so how do we find and then we will start writing a c f p t r okay if c f p t r if this is uh, means this uh, f p t r okay let me convert this statement equals to equals to null okay means uh, this value is not available then it will print error file not found or else the remaining operation will be performed here okay so this is very important thing and just try to understand that you can use this statement and this is the standard practice okay we use phasix standard phasix standard of writing c program so this phasix standard is portable operating system interface for unix like uh, system so for that we use directly we use directly it will either return null or not null if it is null then it will not open the file or if it is not null then this descriptor will return particular value this is any integer positive integer value okay and this positive integer value is just a pointing value 
where uh, it is going to point. It is just a kind of process number you can say. Now, else, else means now file is available, file is available with us. So we can enter the account name and the balance. So printf enter end of file to end input. Okay, so we will write EOF automatically. It will end the input and now printf. So question mark is given in this question mark. It will start scanning the thing. So first thing is person D means account. Second thing is person test is the name string type and person LF is the balance. OK, now while. F E O F standard input. Until we reach we we are uh, not given the end of file. It will start printing the file content of file. So content of file is C P C F P T R is it will open the file. It is the name pointer to file. OK, second thing is person D percentage and person point to F is the data, so it will automatically print the record into. File which file this file, where is that file? This file is declared at uh, this line and this file is opened by this command. OK, so it will automatically points to that file. Line dot that. And then it will start uh, printing into file and then again print F. It will ask the question and until I provide end of uh, EOF, it will uh, write into the file. So and then finally we will close the file. So in this program we have write some data into file, but we have never uh, read uh, the content of file. OK, so this is the. Uh, style of uh, writing into. Enter end of file to end input. So what is end of file? It is not you have just press two times enter then automatically it will skip from the program. So enter the account name and balance enter end of file to end input. So we have entered using this question mark. In previous slide, you have already seen that this is the question mark and this is our question mark prompt. And once again, the question mark prompt, so we scan the content. First scanning is there and then. Until the end of file means double enter is not there. It will scan the content. So this is the file which we have stored. Now let us see how do we read the content of this file. So reading a sequential access file means sequentially a data is stored and you need to read the sequential access file. So first thing you need to create a file pointer because you want to go for a file related operation and for this purpose because file is stored in secondary memory and you are carrying it into primary memory. You need to find particular address. OK, so for that purpose we use my pointer equals to app open whenever we are using this command it will automatically open or copy the file into main memory my file dot that and the mode is r okay this is for reading so always remember what you want to open file just put the file name and uh, how you want to operate into that file so reading okay means Reading means you won't be able to write anything during the uh, operation of this program. Use a scanner F scan F to read the file. OK, F scan F. F print F print into file F scan F read from a file. Like a scan F. OK, scan F will read from keyboard. But F scanf will read from file. You need to you need not to type anything. So F scanf to whom you want to open the name of file pointer. OK, you cannot write directly the name of file. 
because before this you need to use this operation or you can you can also do the different thing f scan f but if file does not exist then this will give us an error so just put f open here f open and followed by my file dot that comma r and then then remaining other arguments as given here okay whatever written here so you can use this also and i think this is very simple statement first you need to write in this way and then you can directly use f scanner so data read from beginning to end okay whatever file is there so it will start reading from this point to this point up to end of file is reached file position position pointer indicates number of next byte to be read or written not really a pointer but an integer value okay so uh, i had already told you about this descriptor and all other things these are integer values specified byte and location also kite called the byte offset from which place to which place and now there is another function that is rewind my pointer my pointer to whom you want to rewind because file is stored in tape okay that time tape was very common so that's why the rewind function is there so this will rewind the file rewind the file reposition the pointer to beginning of file means you have started reading the file as soon as i write the rewind automatically it will reach at zero okay upon writing rewind so this is the program in previous program we have write into file and name of file was client dot date now here another uh, program we have written this things are very similar okay things are very similar up to this place any file related Uh, program you need these things first thing is data associated with uh, the file and second thing is means actually this is not data you can directly uh, give them name as fields okay and then this is the file pointer it is very important thing now once again the same system call we have used cptr it was to f open then file name and it is open in read mode if it is equals to null it means file is not available so it will close uh, it will generate an error message file could not be opened if it is not so then it will start scanning okay this will print into a screen that it will uh, y minus 10 is written y minus 10 s is uh, written percent 10s because it is writing account from left and up to 10 position okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so let me show you 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now come to next thing that is percent minus 13s okay all these things whenever we are using minus it is left justified what is the meaning of left justified you can see that minus is written here but here uh, means whenever we are uh, writing something so this again minus but last one is not written with minus this last one is not written with minus so this is right justified and this is this is known as left justification left justification means it is aligned towards left okay all the lines are started from same position so that's why these uh, these complicated statements are written and all these are a string this string is going to here this string is going here and this string is dedicated for balance okay so this this will print only that's why percent s is written otherwise whenever you are uh, reading so percent d first thing account number is uh, integer type and name is uh, string type and uh, balance is of floating point type or uh, double type 
that's why it is written and then the last very common operation while uh, writing also we done the same thing in case of writing what we have performed here we have printed into file okay printed into file this data is scanned from keyboard and printed into file but here what we have done nothing has been printed okay uh, means nothing and uh, nothing has been uh, scanned by a user it is directly scanned from file and it is printed it is printed and then after a reaching end of file due to this it will uh, close the file and finally return zero so this is very simple program you can write two programs now that reading a file and writing into a file so, uh, first one is writing into a file and second one is reading from a file then there are choices okay now this is the program writing and reading is okay writing and reading is done so now what's next next is query how do we query a document okay the document is written as that file now the same thing first four line of any program related with file is uses same thing even not first means uh, first six lines are the same up to this six line the uh, original play will start from this line so else printf enter request enter request so there are this is a menu driven program first is list account with zero balance okay so it will search for whether balance is zero second is credit balance and third is debit balance means whether it is negative it is positive or it is zero fine now it will scan your request because it is normal program it is scanning the request okay now while request is not equals to 4 request is not equals to 4 this is our request number 4 app scan app see this is our file name okay file pointer so we have pointed the file into particular position then it will read that content it will read the content okay these are the content and these contents are stored at this location request account balance and name fine so we have stored we have copied the content of file into our local variable for this particular instance now there this is our menu driven program so obviously for menu driven program we use switch case and it is preferred over if else okay now case 1 this request is it may be 1 2 3 4 so this is our integer value so what is case 1 case 1 is list account with zero balance it is very simple account with zero balance so the uh, while loop will read entire file read entire file and it will check because balance is copied okay balance is copied from file into this balance so it will check whether balance equals to 0 or not if it is 0 then it will display all those record whose balance is equals to equals to 0 and again it is reading and this reading and writing of uh, content will done until the end of file is written and then break okay after that Uh, if user wants to any other query like credit balance whether the balance is okay for credit it is negative balance okay so whether the uh, account is having negative balance so like loan okay loan account you want to search so loan for that we just search balance and we are just reading from file and it is stored into balance that's why it will able to do the same task and similarly greater than 0 is used for debit balance 
it is actually your uh, main account or principal account. It is loan account and it is saving account. And finally, this will uh, close the menu. Then we will reposition the file into that place. If we are not doing that, then it may happen that it will start from this particular position instead of 0th position. And then this is end of run and finally the program will close. So this is the menu treatment program. It is asked for menu. User has entered one account with zero balance. It is shown by this 300.0 and two account with credit balance minus 42 and account with debit balance. Already we have stored all this data. OK, so this is the execution of program. So with this we completed our uh, file management system. If you have any doubt, you can ask. Any doubt? No, sir. OK, so this will conclude today's uh, file processing and from tomorrow just uh, uh, Shahoj, there was one problem you have asked in previous class structure and union. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. OK, yes, OK, so tomorrow we will discuss structure and union in detail. OK. OK, sir. OK, fine. So thank you very much. I will stop recording here and I will um, put this recording in um, the teams. Yeah, Sir, YouTube. Okay. Uh, yes. I think we already finished all this last class. Already we have discussed about you structure and union. No, sir. I, I mean this lecture you just showed. I think it's already done last class okay. and you uploaded in YouTube. OK, 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 fine, fine. But um, once again, because uh, this today's lecture is in detail, you know, so that's why. Yes, sir. OK, so let me stop here. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Have a nice day.